since then, like you just trying to get back, how close are you feeling? Um, I'm really, really close. I feel better than I have in, in a long time. And, um, yeah, I think it's honestly, for me, for me individually, this is a little bit of a, a little bit of a blessing, honestly. And obviously, my nobody wants to crack their rib, but for me, it was. It was uh, nice to give myself a chance to actually have a preseason or a you know a buildup per se. So um, you know I feel back to myself and I feel back to uh, ready to make an impact. And has this extra time off helped your ankle? Because I know you were having a little bit of problems with it on and off. Yeah, yeah, probably uh, probably uh, really really good for the whole body. Um, it was a rough summer, and so you know now again, like I said, I feel I mean I feel awesome. I feel athletic. I feel bouncy. So um, you know we've been doing some great things. I'm just. Bit looking forward to add, adding to it. And how tough has that mental part been just being like, I just can't get right, you know, I can't get over that hump and just feel like myself again? Uh, that was the hardest part early in the season is, is as I felt like I was, uh, I felt like I was trying to force myself to be in a place that my body wasn't ready to be at. You know, my mind was seeing things that my body couldn't react to. And, uh, um, you know, I, like that's why I, I feel lucky that I got a chance to uh, give my body a, a chance to catch up and, and um, you know, mentally I'm, Obviously frustrated. I want to be out there. I feel like I could help us in every single game we play. But um, you know, all I can do is, is is help from behind right now. But here in uh, here in a, here in a short amount of time, I'll be back. And kind of evaluating from the sidelines, just what do you kind of see from the team right now, where you guys are? Um, I mean, I love what we're doing in the first half. It was great. It's been great. Um, our second half has been slow, sluggish, and. Uh, uh, you know, to quote one of my teammates, a bit, a bit laxatical um, <laughs> at times. But um, I think, I think, uh, you know, we, we had a good film session today, and I think if we can just keep, just keep building. You know, no team, no team that has won it at the end peaks in December. So yeah, we have our rough patches, but at the same time, I have confidence. We all have confidence that we will peak at the right time. And do you think some of that second half stuff is just like being a young team, or I uh, guess how you kind of figure out that part of it? Um. Gotta be honest with you. If I knew, if I knew, uh, it, it, it would be a whole lot, a whole lot more helpful. You know, we're also trying to figure out why. You know, we've got, we've got some vets, we got some young guys, we got some energy uh, in that first unit, and they've all been playing solid. Um, but for some reason, just uh, that start in the second half, and, and our second halves have been a bit, uh, been a little bit ragged. So, um, again, like I said, if I if I knew the answer, it'd be great. I wish I did too. But um, you know, we're working towards it. With this uh, Cleveland trip, how much are you looking forward to getting to see? Some family? No, it'll be great. It'll be great. It'll be great. This is the this is the only uh, this is the only arena I can go to where you know they're honoring me during the game. You know, I got my jersey hanging up there, so it's great. Um, yeah. So you know, I always look forward to going home, but um, you know, seeing family this close to the holiday will be real special. My wife and daughter are already there. It seems like your brother is doing really well in yeah. the G League so far. I mean, I know you mentioned before the season you would hope you were hoping somehow to get a chance to see him play. Is that still something that you're hoping to? put together at some point this year, even though the schedule probably might not cooperate. Uh, I will get to see him at some point. Uh, I'll make sure of it. Uh, but I appreciate you asking about him. Pete's doing great. Uh, my man's got the best setup in the G. He's he's playing for Cleveland, living in my house and driving my car. So um, he's a little spoiled kid right now. But no, he's playing well, starting to figure it out. And uh, I won't get to see him because they're in Orlando for the showcase. But what I'm looking forward to is I'll get to actually sit down with my dad and watch one of his games. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. So yeah, yeah. 19 and a half time. Huh?